Uh, good evening students uh, let me proceed further here and uh, showcase to you further as to how vishwanath is trying to uh, uh, you know proceed further with his discussion on the nature of the verbal knowledge now here you will see that again as i was discussing in my uh, last video regarding the relations uh, between this one now here is the fifth uh, diagram that you can look into it and you can see that he uh, makes it a very uh, nicely I should say uh, tells us about the relations number one general actions how they are taking place and the mapping aspects also so here you can see on one hand I have got uh, I should say uh, more about the uh, uh, relations on one side on the other hand I have got uh, the mapping that is taking place and number three the general action so I have already defined to you what exactly we mean by general actions which are very common and they are not specific uh, to an individual and uh, you will see that these are uh, something uh, which is very common to all of them for example if I say that how many of you love momos so obviously most of us we love momos then if I say okay the pandemic is here and we haven't tasted uh, such a long time that most of us are just relying more on home cooked food rather than the street food that we usually go once in a week or twice in a week and we go ahead so you know if we, each one of us if I start discussing with each one of you definitely yes each one of us would be no ma'am it's very good to stay at home and uh, confine ourselves with the home cooked food then other person might say oh no I'm missing with the uh, ice creams the second person might say oh no I'm missing the gulgapas the patache you know that we love and in Delhi definitely yes uh, at this time uh, when the things are there are chola baturas that uh, some of us who really love to munch upon them and uh, you know go ahead so you will see that I, I, I would say that these are some of the general actions that I'm talking about however when it comes to the relations um, is it also the same thing that he's talking about so remember those six relationships that he is talking about when he is uh, uh, discussing about the external object perception and the individual uh, who is perceiving that object number one and the manner they are going to act so that's why I say that this one can be very nicely compared with Austin's book how to do things with um, uh, you know words uh, kind of a stuff so that's number one um, rather than just uh, uh, you know just uh, I should say uh, give an overview about uh, certain things like uh, sense, uh, sense and reference or with denotation and connotation or uh, the knowledge by descriptives or by knowledge by descriptions and the acquaintance which uh, Russell discusses a lot though uh, that is not our agenda at all we just had to focus on denotation so uh, in a while I'll be coming up with the denotation and then you can do however here you can compare it with Austin out here so he says that relations and the general actions there are uh, there is uh, this proper mapping which is taking place and if you remember Plato now uh, Plato also discusses the same thing about when he is discussing about forms you know as compared to the other things now there uh, you need to understand and see that yes and keep this thing behind that always the relations that he is discussing and the general actions both of them are mapped and they cannot be separated with each other whenever we are discussing when I'm at the level of the verbal discussions also the sixth figure you can see that I have drawn a tree okay and I've kept it this particular tree in a box that means that I'm not looking at, at uh, each and every part of the tree I'm looking at one go at the complete image of that particular tree and I have already differentiated what is the difference between both of them okay so here comes it out here that yes when I'm uh, these individual lines which I have drawn this shows now for example this one then this one then this particular line or this particular particular line or this particular line or this particular line you will see that this is how I am uh, taking care of my sensory experiences okay now once I have this I will be calling it as the first level of experience then when I'm coming to the second level of experience which is a common one with the general notion so here you will see that he is discussing that individual is present individual when I say it has got a soul intellect and senses together and that's why these different levels uh, from here to here which you are able to see completely will be making up together as 
the general notion, different levels of perception we have gone and we come to the next level and that we call it as a second level. This might be first, second, third, fourth, fifth level and this might be called as a sixth level of perception also. So, uh, you know, uh, the uh, sensory experiences level will be called as the first experience and the moment I have completed individually and I'm recollecting about my sensory experiences, I have reached to the second level of my experience. At that time, we say that there is this commonality which is present for our discussion. So I hope uh, this is being understandable completely to know how he is introducing, um, which I did not do it purposely in my main diagram when I was discussing about the Western text. However, in the Indian text, we are able to see how the individuality and where the universals are coming in and in what. In the further slides of mine, you will see that further discussions are taking place as, as to how he is going to discuss all these things. So let me proceed further with the next uh, discussion in my next video. Till then, thanks and take care. Bye.